Fam, good morning. It's Kyle Henderson of Bama Football on YouTube. Give a thumbs up for this Alabama basketball team. If you had a chance to watch the Alabama Crimson Tide on Monday night in their season opener, the Crimson Tide defeated UNC Asheville by a score of 110-54. to Mark Sears, 20 points in 24 minutes. Yo, this basketball team is everything that we thought it would be and more. I think that the sky is the limit for this Alabama basketball team. And I think in the opener, of course, it's UNC Asheville. I get it. But from the particulars, and when we zoom in and look at the box scores, you see how good this team is in a season opener. Now, look, we're a couple guys rusty. Absolutely. So let's what what we're gonna do right here is let's look at this box score. And I, I circled a couple things that stood out to me from last night's game. So let's stop to start up to the top left and you see that Mark Sears, he comes in in 24 minutes, he has 24 points. From the field, he was 6 of 8. From three-point land, he was 3 of 4. Now, last night, it was interesting because in the past, we have seen Alabama shoot a lot of three-point shots from the outside and be successful in doing that. That was almost part of their game under Nate Oates. But I think this year, considering that they have bigs, that they can get points inside the paint, they're going to do that. And Alabama also got an opportunity to really utilize Clifford Amori. As you see, he had six po 16 points. He was 6-6 six six from the field, those points inside the paint. Most importantly, at the free throw line, he was 4-4. Four four. He has eight rebounds in 19 minutes. I think when you look to a player like Clifford Amori, this was the missing piece last year for the Alabama Crimson Tide. Thumbs up if you agree with what I just said. Because I think, look, Pringle did, maybe he played at his ultimate limit, but he was not a rim protector. What I saw last night in just a short amount of basketball from Cliff Amore is he is that dominating inside presence. And the thing I love most about this Alabama basketball team, I know we're spotlighting a couple of um, the offensive uh, production last night, but Alabama, from what I saw last night in just one game, is that they are athletic enough to play transition defense. That is so important with the up-tempo style of play that Alabama has. Let's look at a couple more particulars from last night's game that stood out to me. Mo Diabate, yo, this guy comes in. In 16 minutes, he has 11 points. And you look to guys that come off the bench, and last night they went with the bigger uh, lineup. The guys indicated with stars are the guys who started last night for the Crimson Tide. But Diabate is going to be something. I mean, he's already special. I mean, you look to guys who can come off the bench. I mean, Diabate is one of those guys. Um, Holloway last night, he was 3 of 6, 3 from 3 uh, from the free throw line. He was 2 of 3 from uh, outside the paint. You see the Alabama last night, 8 of 18 from outside the arc, which is 44%, which is fantastic. I would like to see the free throws uh, increase. Of course, it's the first game of the season, but I mean, if you're nitpicking, that's what you're going to nitpick on, right? Only 70% from the charity stripe, uh, 26 of 37. Um, other guys who stood out, I, I mean, uh, Darren Reed, Baller, and then what about this freshman? Yo, uh, LeBaron Phelan. I mean, 10 points, 4 of 7, um, didn't hit a, uh, a three-pointer, but I think the assists up top, right? He has nine assists. He can really move the ball around. I, I mean, let me ask you, are you excited for uh, LeBaron Phelan? Like, he, the, he's an ultimate freshman. We always hype these freshmen up, but the guy certainly stood out to me. This basketball team is really something special. I can't wait to see what they do in some of the marquee games that they have coming up. So 1-0 on the season in their season opener. Up next, they'll take on Arkansas State. That game is also in Tuscaloosa on Friday, November 8th. And then after that, they take on McNeese. But look at these games in later November, early December that they're playing. One of the things about Nate Oates is he is not afraid to take on high-level competition. That is something that I love about his competitive spirit, as you see on the schedule. Games against Purdue in Indiana, right? Taking on Illinois. You know, teams from the Big Ten are going to bring it. You got a game with Houston, uh, a game with Rutgers, a game against North Carolina, a team you beat last year in um, the NCAA tournament. Creighton is always going to be tough. North Dakota. <laughs> so what I'm saying is this is a tough schedule. And I love the fact that this, uh, this team, this coaching staff is not afraid uh, to take on great competition because, as you know, it is going to be an absolute gauntlet. In the, you thought SEC ba uh, football is crazy? Just wait till we get to SEC basketball, although Alabama is favored. Here are the opening comments from Nate Oates to watch the full press conference. Go over to the University of Alabama's website. 
Uh, Alabama basketball absolutely rolling last night. Already scoring 110 points in the season opener. Kyle Anderson, Bama football. Yo, this basketball team absolutely rolling. Love talking about them. Give a thumbs up on this video. I'll catch up with you guys soon right here on Bama football on YouTube. See ya. Thought it was a good opening night for us. You know, it's the first time we had all these guys available. Thought it was a good game for some guys to get their feet wet. You know, I, I thought our start defensively was great. You know, thought Mark Sears' defensive efforts significantly better than what it was last year. I think you guys can all see it. The one possession, we didn't end up finishing it well. Uh, we ended up following a three-point shooter, but just his effort on the ball. I love the fact that the crowd recognized how hard he was playing on defense, got into it. You know, I, the, first off, the, the crowd was unbelievable. It's the best crowd we've had for an opener since I've been here. It's a sellout. So, you know, we needed to keep continuing like that. So, huge thank you to student section. I heard we had more students wanted to come than we had room for, which is great. We need that to be that way every game. Thank, thankful to all the uh, season ticket holders that come make it. They got people in their seats. So that was great. But, you know, we, we've got some young young guys that we need to get, uh, you know, some experience. I thought LeBaron looked great at nine assists, almost at a double-double. He needed one more assist. Uh, Aiden Sherrell won the hard hat. You know, he had nine rebounds and limited minutes. So... Uh, you know, Darion Reed had some big time plays too. You know, he had nine and six, and thought he, he started kind of getting more comfortable. He hit that three and went made his free throws there. So, uh, really happy with the effort from everybody. But you know, obviously the games are going to get a little tougher here moving forward. Got an eight uh, plus thirty nine from Aiden Holloway in his first game for you guys. Uh, what stood out? What stood out about his performance, and what did you like? Yeah, that's pretty impressive. He, um, I think maybe my favorite play he had was when he got on the floor for that loose ball that um, we scored off after he got off on the floor for that. You know, he's making some tough plays, showing he's got some toughness. You know, he can really, really be a, a good defensive guard. He's got the quickness to be a great defensive guard. So. You know, and he's not passing up open threes. I think, you know, you saw he's capable of shooting it. He's got range. We don't want him passing up any open shots ever. You know, he went two or three from three. You know, him and Sears both shot it really well. They're really the only two guys that shot it, like, decent. We didn't shoot it great from three tonight outside of those two. And Mo Diabate went one for one, too, which is good. He's been working a lot on his game, and he's a tough kid that makes tough plays. But, you know, I, I, I was really happy with Holloway. I mean, 11 points, didn't have a turnover. Uh, you know, kind of the questions that maybe came up were with some of the stuff in practice, maybe some exhibitions where, you know, we get need him to be a better defender and need him to take care of the ball. I thought he was pretty good on defense. I thought he took care of the ball, and we know he can shoot it, and he shot it really well tonight.